If history has to take pride of certain glories, they are from this land where the letters of pride were written down and spread. The homeland of nobility, the beacon of knowledge, and the lifter of Islam and peace banner. Time has derived from its shores some tales that are narrated with pride and fascination. It is Oman. It is because of the favor of the Omani brave sailors and sea pioneers, the most skilled navigators were led to the oceans of the world. The ancient civilization of Oman spread to lay the foundation of the influential empire that left a miraculous mark in history books. During the reign of Sultan Saeed bin Sultan, 1840, Ahmed bin al Nu'man al Kabi sailed in the Omani ship Sultana to New York in the United States of America to be the first Omani ambassador and Arabic envoy in the era of President Andrew Jackson. The 23rd of July 1970 is a glorious day. It is the day of the blessed renaissance that has marked a historic milestone which has launched Oman as a nation, people and a culture to the prospects of pride. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Said, may Allah protect him, unleashed the will of the Omani citizen. Therefore, the steady steps of the Omani renaissance began towards the desired goals and it was led and guided by the wisdom and enlightened ideas of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos. منذ يوليو 1970 إلى النهوض بالمستوى الصحي للإنسان العماني. The dawn of the Omani Renaissance era 1970 recorded a leap in the quality and quantity of health development. The core of this leap emerged by the issuance of the royal decree of establishing the Ministry of Health. Prior to 1970, a condition of total stagnation and a deteriorated health status overshadowed the Sultanate. As a result, this made the country lag behind in the evolution and development. The death rates were so high because of the lack of infrastructure, unavailability of medicines, vaccines, in addition to the widespread of many of childhood diseases and other illnesses that resulted from food and water contamination. After only two hospitals with a total of 12 beds and 10 health clinics, today health services are available through 54 hospitals and 242 health centers. The health services in the Sultanate are accessible for both citizens and non-citizens through a comprehensive health system that provides care on three levels. The primary health care. This is the main entry point of health services provided through network of health centers and polyclinics that cover the entire provinces and states of the Sultanate. They provide an integrated package of various health programs. The secondary health care then comes to provide medical care in various medical specialties. The tertiary healthcare is delivered through the high-tech specialized hospitals and medical centers. One of the main pillars of health policy in the Sultanate is the integration of health concerns in the daily life of individuals and the society. The Sultanate is considered one of the pioneer countries in the field of community-based initiatives, which is based on the principle of community participation and multi-sectoral collaboration to reach a comprehensive concept of health state. Oman has made remarkable achievements in health development, especially in the pace of lowering mortality rates, particularly the infant mortality rates, in addition to eradicating many infectious diseases. These achievements were praised and recognized by many international organizations. Over the past decades, efforts have been focused for the advancement of human resources working in the health sector, as it is one of the most important pillars of the quality of health system not to mention the attention to ensure the quality, safety and efficiency of pharmaceuticals and various other vital medical equipment and technologies. Moreover, a national system of health statistics and information was developed with the aim to serve as tributary of health information used for formulation setting policies, health plans and strategies. A collateral effect to the advancement of society civilization, which led to widespread of unhealthy lifestyles arbitrating change in the epidemiological map, dominating the hazards of the non-communicable diseases, besides the demographic transformation that causes the increased rates of aging diseases. Henceforth, an evaluation of current health status and revision of existing health policies and plans was requisite to monitor different challenges and obstacles that will face the health system to develop a long-term vision for the health system, which will incorporate the next 40 years to ensure that the health system can evolve to meet all needs. 
As a result, the future vision of health system, Health Vision 2050, was developed aiming for healthy, productive life for citizens as an outcome of an effective and responsive health system, which is based on the culture values of equity and social justice under the slogan of Quality Care, Sustained Health. Today, Oman as people, society and the nation stands with the pride and the glory for its leadership to renew the loyalty and express gratitude to the founder of modern renaissance, His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Said, not only for what was achieved over the past decades, but also for his supreme commands that lead Oman to further progression and stability. This is a promise to double efforts, toil to realize aspirations by giving and exerting oneself to every tomorrow that shines with every daybreak of our earnest progress. We do not recognize from the past except His Majesty. From today, it's a new glory, and from tomorrow, it's splendid future. Welcome and a greeting to you all in Oman.